Go okay, for so, it. All right, so you're asking about why there's much more foam or a much more sort of a stronger head on yeah. espresso now. The, the reason for that is, is twofold. One is that we're doing a much longer development time on our espresso roasting, okay. which means that we're getting uh, a much longer, more drawn out Maillard reaction. Maillard reaction is the same thing that happens when you've got uh, steak that's cooking on a grill and you're reacting amino acids and sugars to create flavor. At the end of that reaction, yeah. you get a molecule called a melanoidin created. Uh, and those melanoidins are the surfactants or the wrapping okay. uh, that uh, creates the, the basically the bubbles or the foam in crema. So we're yeah. getting a lot more foam because of that. Uh, the second reason is we've actually discovered that if we delay packaging the coffee for about a day, so okay. if we leave it in a bin open instead of putting it right into a package, really? it kind of breathes a bit and there's a very strong correlation. We just found this out a few days ago yeah. between coffee that we package uh, right away not having a lot of oiliness and a lot of unctuousness and gooiness. Yeah. And then coffee that we leave open for a day is very gooey and very foamy. We don't know why. It's probably to do very with cool. it. Very yeah. cool. In a lo lower pressure environment, so it's allowed to release carbon dioxide more easily. Very cool. And this becomes your uh, your mad scientist lab here. Well, that's uh, that's our sort of mad scientist rhubarb. Right. right, okay, yes, of course. Experience. The yeah. lab is actually in the back, and it's still under work. Okay, but, uh, but this is the roaster over here, the yeah. big, the big uh, machine, the right? The human roaster and the machine roaster yeah. are both over there. Human roaster? That's Cliff. <laughs> He's the roaster. He oh, the sorry. Yes. Okay. Roaster. Got it. I was so, hoping it wasn't a separate machine for humans, as no. for coffee beans. <laughs> no. Awesome. Okay. So Cliff's roasting some coffee right now. Wow. Okay. Hi, Cliff. <laughs> so. Want to have a smell? Oh, do I ever! It Hold on. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Okay, yeah, a really nice toasty, toasty kind of, yeah. and it doesn't even smell much like coffee. Like it smells more like uh, like a good bread or something like well, that. You know, we would argue that nothing really smells like coffee. Coffee smells like many different things. Yeah. If you get really good coffee. It's unmistakably other things. There's no sort of a standard generic coffee yeah. smell to it. Okay. It's all. This smells like. Cocoa or bread, right? Like a nice like sourdough baking, like yep. you have right Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sourdough. Uh, that's it. Yeah, or yeah. Like if we get a cup of Yergacheche coffee going through, right? It's all like tropical fruit, jasmine, and tea rose. Yeah, yeah. And wild aromas you never expect to find in coffee. Very cool. So um, one of the differences to what we're doing here is Cliff is being extremely careful and experimental and innovative with how we roast every coffee. Okay, and yeah. so instead of just heating up the coffee to a certain color or a certain temperature, yep. he's controlling the rate at which it heats up. Let me show you the graph. Here. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh here, right here, hold on, I gotta, gotta get that. So here comes the coffee into the, what is this, just sort of an agitator or something? Is this? Yep. So right now, we turned another, uh, another fan on, and it's drawing air through here. Okay. Up that pipe right there. Yep. And it's off the coffee right. uh, quite quickly so that it stops roasting. Very cool. So we're trying to rapidly cool it in three yep. to five minutes or so. Very cool. And okay. It's ready to sit. We'll put it in a bin, let it sit. So yeah. Tomorrow when we package it, let it breathe for a bit. Very nice. So the curve I was talking about is on the control panel right here. Yeah. And you can see um, that we've got the detail there of the temperature profile. Right. And we're controlling the slope of that at every Okay. And that's something that we're doing ongoing experimentation with right yeah. now. Right. Uh, so some coffees we're really happy with, some they're yeah. pretty good, but we're wanting to kind of tweak them by trying a few different things right now. That's amazing. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. And you folks are opening tomorrow, which is Yeah, June twenty fifth. Twenty sixth. Today's yeah. the twenty fifth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So yeah, you'll be able to come and get your coffee here. Yeah. And smell those beautiful smells coming over. You got it, yes. Yeah. Now one this is more, uh, experience that uh, we want people to have as well. It's over uh, this way. It's oh yeah, and of course the, the the artwork being done here as well. Yeah. Very nice. So in this area over here, it's going to be uh, walled in glass, but we're going to have a really cool cupping table in there. Oh okay. That spins around, so you can put a lot of coffees on it at once to evaluate. Sort of a tasting area. A tasting area. Oh wow. So great. that's for us. We'll be evaluating every roast that comes out of here cool. to make sure it's good and also yep. to think about how we can make it better every time. Right. But right, anyone's right. welcome to join us. So if you come by, grab Beautiful. a spoon and come and uh, sample with us if you see us in there. Nice. For sure.
That's great. And I see uh, Tracy's back there kind of... Uh, yep. They're planning the community space back there. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. And of course the office space up here. Yep. So that's a big space. So yeah. Uh, yeah. you're producing a lot of coffee back there too. Like, uh, Fair amount. Yeah. yeah. For all the, all the bridgeheads across town? Basically, it's only for the bridgeheads. We do a little bit of business on uh, mail order, so people from across okay. Canada yep. buy coffee. But by and large, this is all for all the, all the bridgeheads. So up to 15 stores, this one being the 15th. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, Ian. Oh, my pleasure.